Hello, welcome to Sparkboard 101. I'm your host, Robert Rocha. I'm an instructional technology specialist with the El Paso Independent School District. In all our video segments, we've talked about how to add interactivity into our Smart Notebook lessons, how to use a Smart Board, how to use a document camera with our Smart Board, all of these different information. And so, as a teacher, you might start starting already creating your lessons, but maybe now you want to see, well, what else is out there in the world? What other uh, areas of information can I go and find Smart Notebook lessons? Well, SMART has created a website called the SMART Exchange. In that SMART Exchange, it's a giant repository of SMART Notebook lessons, uh, tutorials, anything related to the SMART Notebook. They even have a forum that you can go and communicate with other teachers around the world, too. Now, with that SMART Exchange, all you really need to do is register for the site, and you can go ahead and log in and download all the items that are there. So let's go and take a look at that SMART Exchange and see how it works. Now, one thing I can do to, in order to access the Smart Exchange is I can just go to Google and just do Smart Exchange. That's probably the best way to do it. Or just to go ahead and t type in Smart Notebook Lesson uh, Activities, and it'll come up on Google that way. Or if you have the latest version of Smart Notebook, which our district has on our laptops, is it's already pre-built within the, the, uh, the, the toolbar that's here. And the icon is going to be a, a little blue square with kind of an X. And then a, right in the middle of that X is a little bitty dot, a little bitty like a little dot that's there. So I'm going to go and click on that. And it automatically takes me to the Smart Exchange. So I'm going to go and click on that here. And it opens up here. And this is the this flash page of the Exchange. And of course here uh, it has my toolbar, which I'm going to go and show you right there. Uh, of course, there's the Home button that's right here. There's a search feature. I can search for different lessons that are there. Um, I can share a resource. So let's say I have a really great lesson that I've created that I want to share with other people. I can go ahead and click on it and upload it to Smart Exchange, and then other teachers can look at and download uh, the, the items that I created, my lesson plans that I created there. They have a standards correlated lesson search, which is kind of like the search that's over here. It's a little bit of redundancy, but it kind of breaks it down by your country, and breaks it down by your grade level and so forth that you're teaching, and also by, by your state. Um, also here, we have a community. And on that community, it's kind of like a forum. So if I have questions I have about Smart Notebook or Smart Board in general, I can go to that forum and ask different questions that are there, and people respond to me around the world. So that's kind of a really neat help if you're trying to create a, a, or trying to be part of a social media that's now being the new rage now within education. And the last area that I have it dropped on menu here is the training. So let's say you wanted some more training on Smart Notebook. Uh, you wanted some downloads and PDFs. You can go and do it that way. But as I'm looking here and I go down, uh, I have a basic search feature that's already here. I can just type in. Let's say I wanted to look for something that was based on money. I can go and search on things that are money or anything I wanted to do. I just matter of putting it in right there. Okay. Also, too, from the search below, they have a browse by. I can browse by any subject that I'm teaching here. I can browse by different grade levels that I have. I can browse by my file types. If I wanted to go and browse that particular way, I could do that. Um, and down below, if I looked at a little bit further down, is it gives me top, uh, or a little bit too high up here. Let me go back a little bit down just a tad. I have my top download, so all the different items that have been downloaded recently. It'll download all the latest ones that are uh, a lot of people are hitting a lot. Teacher recommended resources that other teachers have, have looked at, they've approved of it, and they said, hey, this is a great lesson, and they go and comment on it, and those are very recommended by other teachers that you can go and use. Uh, new accredited software and content titles. A lot of times, uh, maybe other publishing companies go in and create smart notebook lessons. You can go and find them here that's uh, there. And down below, it's pretty much it here. But if I go back to my right-hand side, I can go to recently share. So these are things that teachers just recently have uploaded, so it's kind of the latest content that's out there I can go and look at. But let's go ahead and, and, and look at how to search for a particular uh, item, and then from there, um, how, how I can go and download it to my computer. So if I wanted to, I could go down here. I'm going to go to the standards correlated lessons. Let's go and try that one here. When I click on that, it opens up this page here. And of course, I'm going to choose my select standards. Of course, I want to choose the United States because right now I'm living in Texas. And I can go down to Alabama, Arizona, 
And I'm going to try to look for Texas here, if I can find anything for Texas. Tech Success of Knowledge, of knowledge and Skills. I'm click on that one. I can go ahead and choose a grade. I'm going to say I'm going to choose my, let's try a third grade here. Select a subject. I'm going to go ahead and do English Language Arts. And I'm going to click on View. Okay, and let's see what populates here. Okay, there's a few of them here. I didn't view resources, so click on that one there. Onomatopoeia, we want to look at that one. Click here to preview. And here it opens up a preview here, and it's letting me know that this has been downloaded 2,508 times. There's 11 slides on this particular piece here. And here, this is my title page that I have. I can go ahead and click on my forward button, and I can view all the different slides that are there within this particular smart notebook lesson. So as I'm looking at this, and I'm looking at it, if I decide I want to go ahead and download that, I can. Say I like this particular lesson. Once I go here and view it. Now if I look at the very bottom here, it has download. I simply click on download. My web browser is going to go ahead and take it over in just a minute and tell me where I want to save that particular piece. I'm going to save that. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to save that to my desktop so I can easily find that particular piece. Click on Save. And now, I'm going to close this down here. It should be close to the blue X on the upper right hand corner. I'm going to minimize my page. And I'm going to minimize my smart notebook. And there it is on my desktop on Amatopia. And now I can simply click on that, and now I have a ready-made lesson that I can use with my class. Okay, I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to go back to my Smart Exchange here, and I'm also going to go down here to search. So if I want to do another type of search, I can go and do that, and it's going to populate here. My page is still opening up. I can search for, let's say, I want to do something on money. I just type in money. I'm going to do all subjects, so I don't want to do all subjects for money. I'm going to go and just do for mathematics. And once I have that, I'm going to do for, again, let's try fourth grade mathematics. And United States, and click Go. And I'm going to populate some lessons here just for money. And here I go. I'm going to click to preview. I can download automatically. Or I can open up in Smart Notebook Express if I wanted to go and do that. But uh, we already have in our district the Smart Notebook. So I would just recommend on downloading it to your computer or preview it to go ahead and view that particular piece. Now, again, I've already, if I talked about a little bit about the community, again, if you want to talk with other educators about Smart Notebook, you can. And training here, if I go to training and go to visit training site, I can just go down to Smart Board Interactive Whiteboard Questions or Smart Notebook, I'm going to go to Smart Notebook and search for offerings. And it's opening up in a separate tab. And I can find PDFs or th information on the Gallery Lesson Activity Toolkit, items on getting started, Smart Notebook Publisher, and creating engaging lessons. All these different wells of information is just at your fingertips, basically just by signing in to or creating a, a license or creating a username for the Smart Exchange. I hope you see, you'll find that the Smart Exchange will be very helpful in your classroom. If you need to find something very quickly, you can go and download things and you can, you can customize those lessons with your, with your students or for your students actually. But um, this pretty much wraps it up for the Smart Exchange. I hope you have a chance to look at it, preview it. There's just a wealth of information that's out there that I think you're going to really enjoy and use in your classroom. Uh, but uh, so enjoy spending some time looking at that. All right, have a good day.